Scorpio, what's going on with you? This is going to be your weekly reading from the 18th through the 24th of September. It's going to be a love reading. What's going on with you guys? Get straight into it. <clears throat> Just get three more shuffles, Scorpio. All right, guys. <clears throat> interesting. Um, <laughs> any card that I pull will I find interesting. I'll tell you that. Um, what I'm seeing here, essentially, you could be dealing with the Earth sign. Nevertheless, you're dealing with a situation that's going to require a lot of your patience, to say the least. However, all things good require patience and effort, right? Nothing good comes easily. Now, seems as if you recently closed something out, moving into a new phase. It could be in, tra in a in transitional phase in which you're closing out a chapter, beginning a new chapter, some sort of phase within your relationship. Yeah. To further elaborate that closure of chapter, which I see in the past, what's on your mind is something new, guys. You got an offer coming towards you? Did you have an offer coming towards you? Are you offering something to someone? What's going on here? But it seems as if um, I'm right on the money. So, Scorpio, Scorpio, you're appearing as the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. This is someone that is moving slowly but surely towards an opportunity. Oh, shit. And look at the person that you're dealing with. They're appearing as the Ten of Coins. Well, that's quite an opportunity that you're moving towards. You must see this individual as someone that, that has um, a potential, a prosperous potential rather all right now you're wanting passion guys you're wanting that invigoration that that excitement enthusiasm in your love life and what i'm seeing here is that with that you don't want the unreliable sort of energy you want something substantial something grounded something mature that is what i'm seeing that is why i'm seeing so much earth energy all right now the relationship in which you're dealing with scorpio is something that is already existent. This isn't anything new. This is something that has some sense of history toward it. All right. Hmm. All right, guys, what is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Something <clears throat> that you're quite aware of. What is this Ace? Two more. Okay. All right, you're ready to let go of. Okay, so whatever is tied to the past seems quite tumultuous, burdensome, stressful, hurtful, emotionally hurtful. Um, just very frictional between you and whomever's involved in it. Could be more than one person. Nevertheless, you are ready to break free from that shit. You're ready to break free. That's what I'm saying. It's like something new. You're ready for something new. All right. You're ready to venture into something new here. You're ready to leave that frictional energy behind you and move towards something grounded, as I keep saying, guys. What is this? Why are why is Scorpio appearing here as the uh, knight of coins? All right, simply put, because you're dealing with a situation that is compelling you to having to deal with difficulty, guys. This is not an easy situation to deal with. It comes with a lot of disappointments, a lot of friction, a lot, a lot of transformative energy that is required, okay? And transforming a, something negative into something positive isn't the easiest thing. However, that is your challenge. That is what you're having to overcome this week is actually alchemizing that, using that transformative energy, that plutonic energy that rules you and bringing about this change. You know, a lot of times all it requires is us to detach from our emotions. If we're able to detach from situations emotionally, then we're able to think logically and effectively. Nevertheless, guys, the reasons why you're appearing as the, as the uh, Knight of Coins is because you're wanting to fructify this connection. 
That is what you're. That is what I'm seeing. You're wanting to cultivate it, and like I said, it's going to require effort on your end. This is not all rainbows and sunshines. You're going to have to bite the bullet. There's going to be things that you hard pills to swallow. You're going to have to swallow some hard pills. Nevertheless, you're very attracted to this individual. Okay, you you see this as something that you want. This most certainly is a desirous situation that you find yourself in. That is what I'm seeing here. Now, this lover's energy. That we have in the subconscious position. What's going on here, Scorpio? What is this lover's energy? Lover's quarrel. Walking away. All right, this is most certainly has to do with a decision making here and look guys whatever happened here whatever residual energy there is from the past incites some negative aspect of you all right it incites a negative aspect of you and and you know this you know this at least on a subconscious level maybe not actively thinking about it but on a subconscious level you feel this and you know that that is what exactly what it is that you need to walk away from that you need to relinquish to move towards what it is that you desire, which essentially is harmony within a connection. That is what I'm saying. Now, this keeps popping up, guys. The death, I'm telling you, you're in a week of transforming. You're coming from a transformation and you're dealing with a transformation. And that's what I'm seeing here. Now, in the outcome, we have this interesting energy here. Reconciliation. What is this six of cups? Okay. So there's turbulence that needs to be left behind, guys. There's turbulence that needs to be left behind. But you know what? I'll tell you something that I see. Is that both you and whomever it is that you're dealing with already see this growing. So you may be in a stagnant position right now. You may be moving very slow. You may not be experiencing the, the propelling energy that you like or that seems, you know, exciting. Nevertheless, both you and your person know that this relationship is moving away from turbulence and moving toward emotional exchange. That's it. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. That's what I'm seeing here in the outcome position with this, uh, this card of kinderness. Now guys, let's get some advice for you. Get some advice for you regarding this. I mean, you already, you already know. I already told you that you need to transform this situation. You need to transform whatever negative emotion. You need to continue transforming whatever it is that you're already transforming, Scorpio. This, this energy should already be apparent to you. Whatever elephant in the room needs to be let out in the wild, that don't sound right. Now, so let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's it, guys. You already know what it is that you want. So in regards to alchemizing this, transforming it, right? It's going to require patience and all that effort that I'm talking about. But you know what? If you don't pour that passion into it, if you don't put, put forth that drive, then you're not going to align yourself with the external sources that are available to you that will help you, universal forces, that will help you to fructify a stable and grounded relationship, guys. A substantial relationship. All right, so... This is beautiful because it's a major arcana, all right? And major arcanas typically talk about divine intervention or just external forces at work, okay? And that's how I'm interpreting it. Clarifying this temperance card is basically your challenge is to passionately align yourself with what it is that you want so that you may work in conjunction with the universal energy. That's it. And for that reason, I keep emphasizing a transformation. As soon as you relinquish whatever the hell is holding you back, whatever friction, you're already in the midst of transforming Scorpio. Boom. It's like the angels are going to arrive. 
Angels are going to arrive in there. You're going to be there by your side, helping you out, whatever you want to call it. Angels, divine consciousness, God. Some of you guys are into Satanism. You name it. Whatever you're into. All right. That universal conscious intelligence is there for us. Align yourself with it. And you're going to have something beautiful. You're already there. You're already there. Physically, you're already moving towards a relationship. You're already moving towards cultivating that positivity between you two. But internally, I'm telling you, I'm keep emphasizing that. Transform whatever doesn't suit your desire. Invigorate yourself with your passion towards this and just pour that into it. And you will see. You will see. The universe will align for you. With that said, guys, I'm going to take this to the extended. If this was your reading, I'm going to bore into this individual. Their energy, their thoughts, their emotions, their intentions towards you. If this was your reading, I'll see you there. Otherwise, Scorpio, I'll see you soon.